there we go not too bad so now now that once that's pointed up there that'll be nice and sealed so then we can start cutting out the window out there then we can start cutting the brickwork up now now we don't have to worry about any dust so yeah i'll crack on with this getting these jams out and then tidy up and it's ready to get the block working so and of course we're going to use these these screw-ins these are our preferred go-to obviously they're going to go in tie the block work and that's it And good morning, it is a nippy Monday morning, but uh, we're here and we're ready. So the concrete is due between 10 and 1, if I remember correctly. So we're just going to get ourselves busy otherwise. So I've already scraped out all the loose crap in there. So just have to have one more evaluation of that, then we'll be ready. So in the meantime though, Dad's getting some blocks. Morning. And we're going to make a start making a mess inside, getting that steel in. And I'm also gonna start taking out this window. I'm gonna get these out first and then get all that out so we can block up the inside. And maybe brick up the inside today, we'll see. Block up the outside, definitely. Inside, inside. Hopefully, hopefully, yeah, hopefully the outside, in. yeah. Cause it is gonna be rendered eventually, but the customer wants it to be done in bricks just for the meantime. So can't argue with that. So if we, if we block it up first, then we don't have to worry about dust. Yeah. Putting this lot out, and it's an aluminium window. So. Yeah. And then once the concrete's in, we can then cut all that up and get the wall in and get all this down then. So, right, it's a good plan. Let's hope it, let's hope it goes well. So we'll get you set up on time lapse where we set things up and yeah, we'll catch you, catch you in the next part. It is now. Alex is on the inside, sorry, on the outside, taking the hours out for now. I'm on the inside taking the tiles off. And this, this is how I used to seal the cavity before the days of cavity closures. Although there should have been a damp course in that really. No. And that's us. And then this is getting blocked up today. I'm gonna strip all the tiles out so we can Stop all the tiles out so we can get the block work in and then um, that's ready for plastering then. The, obviously that's coming out, there's going to be a bit, a bit of a nib here, the rest of it's coming out, steel going in to hold the roof up. Uh, that's going to be propped up and probably take that out today because we've secured that for now. Concrete's going in this morning, maybe this afternoon, so tomorrow get that block wall up. And I think that's the last job, hopefully. Well, hopefully we get a lot done today. Got plenty to go at and nothing to hold us up, so we need to get moving today. I think that's where the nib comes to. So, um, it's because it's the end of the wall or something. Some, it's, it's engineers put that on the drawing anyway, so that's what we're following. Which can be hidden inside the cupboards because the cupboards come along here. And I think I said before, this is getting changed. These are getting changed for the for the panels. We've kept the panels from this side, 
so they're going to be cut down and fitted into the floors getting insulated ceilings getting insulated and plasterboarded um, and then that's that's pretty much it really and kitchen goes in but as for us today that's our job for today hopefully that's coming out winds are getting blocked up probably bricked up as well and hopefully get the steel in this afternoon it's a busy day so let's crack on update as you can hear Alex putting the mix in uh, all the tiles are off back to bare brick work and block work now not everyone does this but you should do really even though there's a vertical damp up there up the jam when you're breaking a window up obviously it's not a window anymore so it doesn't need the returns so really you should knock all the returns out all the way up so that your cavity continues all the way through but it gets rid of these cold spots here and here sorry here and here because obviously that's going to be a cold spot because the jams aren't insulated all there is that's the old way of doing it a bit of damp course and then we turn the, the reveals in so we actually take that out like that so that we can insulate right through and that's right through into that side <coughs> so as i said block work today first once that block works in we can get that window out on the other side and start grinding and cutting and whatever it just reduces how much dust we get in here because if we start using a grinder before we block up the dust is ridiculous so yeah I'll crack on with this getting these jams out and then tidy up and it's ready to get the block work in I think there's uh, about 12 blocks in it so let's crack on There we go, job done. Now let's get all these halves out from under the window. Cavities are clear. There's the, there's the old tray, original tray, original timber lintel, clear cavity. So now I'm just going to drill two holes either side for our screwing ties and get this block work across. So um, a couple of, couple of holes to drill, a bit of tidying up and then we can get cracking on the block work. Thank you.
So it is 20 to 10 and the concrete's here. So happy days. Did a bit uh, it earlier on schedule. Good job already. And there you have it. A nice little foot in the concrete. I'll tell you what. You know you're getting you're either getting old or you're really becoming a tradesman when you get so excited for the concrete. Right, break time is over, so now it's time to lock this window up. So while Dad was knocking all this out, he's also kindly got the ta uh, drilled in the plugs for me. So there's two there and two on this side. You can make that one out a bit better. So, and of course, we're gonna use these, these screw-ins. These are our preferred go-to. Obviously, they're gonna go in, tie the block work, and that's it. So Dad's gonna do the cuts for me while I do the block laying. And I take him outside. Mix is ready. And tell you. It's weird seeing a red sand mix again. It's been, uh, it's been a long time since we've done a mix with red sand. It feels foreign now to use it. We get used to the uh, yellow sand down south. So I'll give that another bit of a swirl, get these blocks loaded out and get this, get this blasted out. Right, so blocks are loaded. Mortar's ready. Got my tools just over there. Walt Smith is me. So, and as I said before, let me find them. We've got our screw ties, and see these? We've got the tie wires, so make, make a mental note before, you, before someone comments that there's no tie wires. There's four tie wires here, so there you go. We're gonna, we're gonna start doing like a bloody prize draw now, see if you can find the tire wires and you, you, you want a prize or something. <laughs> so, stick you on time lapse when I'm getting this up, but uh, yeah, let's get, let's get going. No, no you stickly dallying.
There you have it. There's a blo uh, window all blocked up. I just need to uh, get the point in trowel and the top pointer off dies and I can get the top bit done, but there it is all blocked up. Better, you know, it's how much darker it was getting on the time lapse, but uh, there we go. Not too bad. So now, now that once that's pointed up there, that'll be nice and sealed. So then we can start cutting out the window out there. Then we can start cutting the brickwork up now. Now we don't have to worry about any dust coming in this way. So, so that's one thing. One thing checked off the list. Next thing, I think after I've pointed that, will be after lunch. We will, I think, get started on the steel. We'll see what happens. I'll keep you updated, but. I think this will be the next, next time I'll see you will be after lunch, so catch you then. Right, hello, it's me. As you can see there at the concrete, we're a bit high with the concrete, so I've dug a trench in at the front for our face work to come along and pushed the, the leftovers to the back. Instead of getting rid of it, I've just built it up at the back. So we've got two levels on the concrete. Um, I've built a little corner. This is going to be our new brickwork. The block work's going to go straight on top of this. We're not going to set it back because uh, it's all going to be rendered eventually. So um, there's no need to step the block work back in to allow for render. I'm just getting my corner up. There's one course to go on top of that, but obviously the board's in the way at the moment. And this is just a little thing, just to show on these little jobs, how these little awkward things can slow you down all the time. Here goes my boy. He's just finished inside. Yeah, so if you look there, below the string line, there's like a lip. That's concrete or brickwork or something. So that's in the way. So I've got to get the grinder out, cut that back to get the brickwork in. I'm putting the brickwork in now on the wet concrete so it'll set. And then that's up high enough to get our profile on tomorrow. And the profile will get us to full height. And um, we'll just have to remember to leave enough room to get a sill under there. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, um, so that's me up to now. I'm gonna run, get this, cut this bit cut off get this this cut this one bottom course running at least and then hopefully this afternoon we're going to get on that window get that tooth down get that bricked up so i'll hand it over to alex who's going to take him in and show what he's been up to i've already shown already show from this side uh i'd rather not <laughs> yeah you can't tidy up the windows in the way isn't it when we take the window out that'll be all tidied up yeah i'll show it once the window's tidied up okay nice people to uh, judge me yeah see you after lunch right here's one of those little hiccups um, now, luckily it worked brick, so that's two of those two out. That's damp course, that's finished, brick work's finished there and it's block work from there, so two out to keep it nice and tidy. We've popped the, um, it's aluminium, so we've popped the exterior beads out. Glass came out nice and easy. Just got six little tiny flat head screws to get out and that frame will pop out then. And then that's ready for brick work. Well, it's not ready for brick work, ready for us toothing out. But um, the recipes will rip through them in no time. Alex has already been on it today, just, just tried out and it's brilliant, so that won't take long. And then, um, it's probably a bit late to put a mix in now. So we'll um, we'll get set up inside for the steels. So we've got a lot to get done tomorrow. I don't think we're going to get finished tomorrow. We might go into half a day on Tuesday, uh, Wednesday. But that's just one of those things. Uh, yeah, it is what it is. So... Um, We'll leave it at that and get back to you in a bit. <laughs> 